Hello, my name is Barry, I'm, and I'm going to be your server today. Welcome to Bon Appetit's Cafe. Goody goody gumdrops! Just look at this beautiful decor. As I've been a server here for almost a year, I have learned about the history of the establishment. It is completely traditionally 1950 style. The food, the drink, the piano playing, the mannerisms of the customers. Everything is perfectly and perfectly pink. Well, isn't that just hunky-dory, Barry? I have no idea what that means. But what would you youngsters like to have yourselves do and sip? I'd like some zero-calorie Wawa, please. Spot on. What about you, sir? You got anything stronger than water? Mmm! Like what? A nice cold Coca-Cola. Ten cubes. Ten cubes on the double, sir. Straight away. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. What do you do to make the moolah? Well, for starters, I'm the CEO of a toilet company called Flush World. Mmm, that felt good. That was you who made those fancy semantic toilets? Oh my goodness, how educated. Where do you work, Barbie? Do you have a job? Actually, I don't work, but I get lots of benefits from the big man in the sky. How do you mean by your mysterious arm gestures? My daddy gives me lots of money for me to eat. You see, he's in charge of this big airplane company called the big man in the sky. Interesting. Uh-huh. Your drinks, my dear peoples. Ice cold zero calorie water for you, madame. And for the mister, 10 cubed Coca Cola. Thank you very much, Barry. Thank you very much, Barry. I will enjoy our beverages very much. Mm mm. Ugh. Barry, this Coke is extremely. That's probably because all the drinks here are traditionally made in 1955. They are authentic. Well, isn't that just wonderful? Nice. Can you please just order our food now? Of course. What would you like to eat? We have everything here, so menus are not necessary. I'll take a medium well steak, please. I would like a zero calorie, sugar free, everything free salad. Um, ma'am, salads are always sugar free. I never knew that. To be quite honest, I don't think she knew a lot of things. I hope you're aware that you're not whispering. Thank you. I wonder how long it will take us to wait for our food. Your food is served. Excuse me, waiter? This steak is not well done. This is rare. Well, my good man, if you think that this steak right here is rare, you should see the steaks that are rare. They're practically mooing around on the plate. Early time! Waiter, waiter! I forgot! Wait, waitress, waitress, waitress! Yes, ma'am? <clears throat> waitress, oh, waitress! Is it mad? My goodness! Oh, get the chef. Ashdol? Yes, my dearest Mary. As you see, some customers just complained about getting hair on their food again. Mm-hmm. And why does that concern me? Well, it's probably your own hair, my dear. Does this taste good? I think it needs some more salt. More salt. I'll think about that. Now what were you saying, dear? Uh, um... I was just saying, it's not my hair. Because I don't have long, straight, blonde hair all of a sudden. It's all over the kitchen. And all of the salads, the fruits, it's everywhere. What are they supposed to do? Deprive me of my beauty? I'm gonna go out to that customer right this moment! Oh. Move out of the way, Barry! Uh. Uh, excuse me. Yeah. Loyal customers of Bon Appetit's restaurant, which one of you has called me back to complain about? Our hair in there. 
their food. Tis I, tis I, just tis I who can play. Oh my, Barry's hair must have gotten to the food again. I will immediately get you new salad. Finally, we can eat in peace. Old girlfriend Esperanza, and what's his name? Hello there. Don't even, how are you? I'm done with you, SB. I have a new girlfriend now. And who's that with you? I'm actually not what's his name. Um, SB's new boyfriend, depressed aunt. And for the record, I'm an actor, not the CEO of a toilet company. Excuse me, I to uh, um, uh, go to the bathroom. You look familiar. Do I know you? I am an actress. The actress of the famous movies Esperanza Ascending, Esperanza Falling, Esperanza Descending, and Esperanza Stays We met on the movie set where the Preston over here played King Chimichanga in the New Mexican village of all but Turkey. It's set in 1925. Please sit down. <laughs> Let me tell you about Tony and what he has done to me. Do, 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 do. It was a long time ago, about a month ago, and there was the same restaurant on a similar night. Same music, same atmosphere, but something was different. He said, I have to go to the bathroom. And he went to the bathroom. But he took forever, and he never came back! But he never came back to the bathroom. He just was never coming back. So I got up and I left. Because he left me. True? Of course it is. Look at me now. I'm a mountain of depression and brooding in my saddle. Yeah, it is true. Meanwhile, in the kitchen. Alright, Miss Ash, I am fed up with your unhygienic practices. Whatever are you talking about, Barry? To be honest with you, Miss Ash, my name is Miles Mulligan, and I'm an agent in disguise for the CDC, Center for Disease Control. I am being completely honest. Just look at this place. Cups lying inside of a foot bath that you are using. Unrefrigerated dairy products. Year-old unrefrigerated cakes that you serve as cu to customers. But the refrigerator is broke. I'm just using it as a hat closet. Dishes. Always unclean. But you give them to customers anyway. And don't let me even begin about the meat. You're growing illegal meat inside of your bathtub. You're a grower. Don't even let me begin about the sugar-free foods that you make yourself also inside of your bathroom. It contains 32% phosphorus, 29% iodine, and 5% uranium-256 with hints of lysergic acid. As you can see in this diagram of how it works, as you can see, the food is ingested through the mouth, but then later absorbed and stored in the pituitary gland, which then causes fluctuations in weight, such as weight gain. Top it off all of your furniture and steel imports from Chernobyl, and your entire restaurant structure is a nuclear bombshell from Russia! Coated in asbestos! You know what all those fancy, those fancy bagel things mean, but I do care, Barry. Knock this stuff off! Ma'am, this place is crawling with radioactive activity! It's poison, and I'm closing you down! What? You can't! No! To wait. I've already called them. Yes, more spiritual price. <laughs> Let's get inside. Oh. Yes, insulin. <laughs> Please do not panic. You have all been contaminated by radioactive food particles. And those panic. Evacuate. 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 Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is my cue. What did I do? I don't like you anymore. You're an evil man. Do 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 do.